Hello. We are looking at some dramatic changes in the weather across parts of North America in the next few days. We have one frontal system in the east that's going to cause some issues. This weather front slow moving, producing some quite large volumes of rain through the Ohio Valley and into the northeast Monday into Tuesday, maybe up to three inches of rain, 75 millimetres. But it's this low here towards the northwest that at the moment looks rather more innocuous, but has already started to bring some wintry weather into British Columbia and Alberta that's going to make the big difference across the northwest of the U.S. The low itself will start to sink across the Rockies and towards the plains. And look what follows on behind at that icy blue plunge, digging all the way down into the center of the U.S. The temperatures for some are literally going to fall like a stone. And as that low arrives, some of the first significant snowfall of uh, this winter season, some heavy thundery showers possible ahead of the uh, center of the low itself as well. But just take a look at the temperatures from Wednesday into Thursday. 25 Celsius the high in Denver with sunshine midweek, minus three with snow showers by Thursday. And you can see those big changes in the weather reflected elsewhere too. Let's head towards the Pacific now where we're watching this area of low pressure closely. Obviously not just an area of low pressure. This is Typhoon Hajibis and it's continuing to intensify. And this is its forecast track for the remainder of the week. Now, subject to some change as our models run from run to run. But at the moment, it certainly looks like we're favoring southern Japan as being the area this typhoon will hit by the time we get to the end of the week and the weekend. And as a violent typhoon. So we are anticipating some very stormy conditions across the southern half of Japan with the prospect for damaging winds and an inundation of rain for some and a risk of localised flooding. As ever, we'll keep you up to date though as we get to shore footing with that track. Heading closer to home now to Europe, low pressure in the northwest will keep things showery throughout the coming days. This front plunging down into the centre of Europe will bring some quite heavy rain, eventually even some snow into the Alps. But it finally starts to look a little bit quieter and clearer through the centre of the Med as we lose the thunderstorms from Italy. However, by then, by Tuesday, we'll see some rain getting across into Turkey. Still chilly across parts of Scandinavia, still sticking with some unseasonable warmth across Iberia. Our temperatures remaining above average here in the next few days. For Moscow and Helsinki, well, the temperatures creeping up a little as the days go by. It looks like the rain will keep coming down, though. But for Athens, we do have plenty of sunshine in our outlook. For the northwest of Europe, though, the low always close by.